What? This is it? What it is, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet in the last episode. We had a really long fight against Aerie. Um, showed up to the crew, the fighting type crew of Team Star. And the Grunt sent out a level 54 Pokemon. Meanwhile, I got level 45, 46, 47, 48 Pokemon. So it's pretty clear that I'm under leveled. But we still somehow came out on top. Uh, it was very, very annoying. Like, super duper annoying. But here we are. We're about to get some backstory on Team Star that I so, oh, so, so care about. So, so much. That didn't make sense. But we're going to we're gonna keep it going. I'm so sorry. I think it went a little too far. Now, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but truly, you do not need to apologize, my lady. Thanks to the sage instruction, I am making swift strides toward mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Aerie. Even the big boss said, it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See, nothing but gratitude to us. You're the brightest star in the whole team. Haha, <laughs> come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Oh, I'm sorry, you all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we have four, we four have trained in our own turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have not have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus, but lately I feel like I can take anything. Even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. Well, that's four squads down. I'd like to see you try my trademark move, too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat. Okay, appreciate it. I knew you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from my rattle that you're not one that you're not a bad person. Stop the, cap. the way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. I, s I was sacrificing my Pokemon left and right last episode. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit for me, a, mu uh, a bit much for me to take. I just really, Rah! Is she crying or something? Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri, this is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on the much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that. Well, all right. I'm, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. It took her no time to, at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess. You started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are fickle. And once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri chose to help me even though I had been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun. There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Ah, uh, no, I'm merely. Riri and the rest of the teams, or the rest of Team Star, made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. They always gotta finish off with that line of treasure, man. <sighs> well, we have one more gym badge, one more Titan, and one more Team Star crew to face. Crazy, bro. Crazy. 
Road to Tuckle Toe. Jamie, it's me. I take it that Aerie handed over the Star Badge to you then. I see. Without its boss, the Cap Squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. Aerie. Even Aerie. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Jamie. And Cliff has also performed admirably, admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Yeah. For a bit. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after the other. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. Is that what Team Star was? But that's neither no neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Welp. <sighs> we earned 10,000 10, LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Alright, my supply unit rep will be soon, but it was going to arrive. Blah, 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 blah. I think now I want to take on the last Titan. I'm um, here I am. Agias. Gua. Stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Arg. <sighs> wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away. But then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even one of them just... If you, if even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot! Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculous miraculously work out. Ah, uh, I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Jamie. Can I take a break, bro? That last boss was a uh, handful. Absolutely handful. Did my Pokemon get healed up? I don't even know. I, I, you know what? Let's just look at the map. See. Uh, is it going to be that hard to get to this Titan? Oh, gosh. I'm looking the wrong way. No. Oh, gosh. Let me rotate the map back. A fairy type? Okay, we got a fairy. We got a ghost. And we got the lake. Ooh, actually, we can just go from over here. From the normal type um area. Now, for the dragon titan, I have no idea what it's going to be. But we have Dodge Bun. Our boy Dodge Bun should actually carry us instead of um not be able to help us at all because against that fighting type crew you know we were really struggling it was really tough because of the freaking lucario and the toxic croak okay now let's mark our destination and this shouldn't be too hard we should be able to you know, get this done, and then I'll be grinding up off screen in order to finish off the last two, uh, I guess, quests. I keep calling them quests. They're kind of like quests, right? They're like missions. Um, what the heck? Oh, I didn't even realize we ran into a Pokemon. Let's run. I was just heading straight towards the water because it looked like that's where um, we needed to be going. I think. I mean, I, I, just by looking off in the map, that's what it looked like. Okay, there was a TM right there, but I did not go to grab it. Alright, let's just head straight over there. 
get this done. And then... I'm gonna grind up. Get ready to take on. Um... What's it called? The last gym leader and the last Team Star crew. First of all, am I going the right way? Like, I know it's... In the, is it in the middle of the lake? Okay, it is in the middle of the lake. I didn't know if I was going to have to go up those mountains or something. We pretty much made it. What? Is our boy, uh, Ralph pulling up? Rototototo. Ralph, right? Arvin! Why did I say Ralph? Hey there, Jamie. So rumor has it that the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this lake, yeah? But not a single person has ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast, but how are we supposed to search for a thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Sure, sure would be handy if it just ran around crying, I'm the titan or something, if only right. Dude, it's a titan. It's gonna be huge. How are we gonna miss it? Could it be a Gyarados? You know what? It could be a Gyarados. Why did I... Yo! I got teleported all the way down here. That's crazy. Wait, who's our lead? Who's our lead? Um, Okay, our lead is Dodge Bun. So we're looking for a, a dragon. A false dragon. Why is it called the false dragon? But it has the fighting type. I mean, not fighting type. Bro, my brain is all over the place. The, the dragon type uh, typing on it. What the heck is that? Y'all see that? In the background? That Loki looks like Wish Cash. Don't it? Oh gosh. That thing looks terrifying. Loki. What is this? This is the, probably the pre-evolution. Tatsu... Tats, Tatsu... Tatsugiri. Oh gosh, bro. I couldn't get away? How? How? Don't tell me we can't get away. I swear. I swear. Bro, I gotta heal up. Is, is taking on this Titan a good idea? No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to auto heal. Oh my gosh, this is annoying already. This is freaking annoying me. All these fish. I can't even see them because of the water. Can we run? First of all, how did muddy water from a little itty bitty fish do that much damage? I don't get it. Oh my god, Jutini, bro. Just about to get in my way. Oh my gosh, Slowpoke. I gotta watch out. I gotta bob and weave these Pokemon. What are those? Oh god, these are iceberg or Burmites or something? What is that? Little fish. Oh, they're different colors. Alright, we're pretty much here. <sighs> okay. We've arrived. Uh, okay, no cutscene. There's just Pokemon just chilling here? What? What's going on? Who are you? Can you tell us something? I do not want to battle. Um. Bro. What's going on? What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to look for it out here? There's no way. There's no way we're supposed to look for it out there. I don't want to talk to that guy because I feel like he's just going to want to battle. The false dragon. Well, let's just go for it. Oh, I literally, this is literally what I didn't want. We put some effort into coming all the way out here on your own. Blah, 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 blah. I couldn't even read that, bro. I'm, I'm drained. This dude looks crazy. Caparaja. Caparaja. 
He only, he only has one Pokemon. Um, switch into Oinkalone and try to go for Dig. But I have a feeling we're going to get knocked out by this Copperage before we even get the chance. Strength? Okay, that actually didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Dude, how am I supposed to find this Titan? <sighs> wow, it used dig right after us. That's wow. That's great. That's just freaking great. Uh, I don't know if Torch Song is super effective. And Pomo definitely cannot take this thing on. Go for Torch Song. Okay, well, we just knocked it out right there. Uh, those little legs hold up some great skills. Are you not going to tell us anything? Oh, wow. What am I supposed to do? I honestly have no idea. There's a Pokeball right here. Let me talk to some fish. Huh? We can actually fight them? Oh, I thought, the, I thought we couldn't. Um... Why can't we not get away from these fish? They literally can't swim. Are we supposed to fight these? Oh my gosh, I think we're supposed to fight them. I think we're supposed to. Oh. Wow! Play Rough is super effective on them. So they're dragons. We're supposed to defeat them all? This is going to take a while, bro. This is going to take a while to, to freaking knock all these things out. What? This is it? Oh my gosh. We... Um, I do not want to get knocked out. I do not want to get knocked out. Please do not one-hit me. This is the false dragon. I can see why it would be a false dragon. Ow, that hurt. Now, how much damage are we going to do if we terrestrialize and go for play rough? Or do we want to go for baby doll eyes? Let's, go. Let's just see how much damage this does. Uh, it better do half. It better do half. I'm expecting half. <laughs> so that's why it's the false dragon. It's not even a dragon type. Water pulse? And we got confused, bro. We just have the the best luck. We have the best luck out there. Is it possible to go for baby doll eyes? Just to make it easier for our other Pokemon? <gasps> what? We hit ourselves in confusion while using baby doll eyes? That's not even an that's not even an attack. How do we hit ourselves? We're just doing that with our eyeballs. Okay, well, this is not great. Uh, Pomo is definitely getting one shot. Um, send in Mabo Stiff, I guess. So Mabo Stiff, hopefully, comeuppance can do some work. I hope. We're faster. Wow, we're faster. I, go, I guess we're just going to go for Crunch. Get some flinches in here, man. Flinch? Nope. 
Wow, that hurt. Bro, this is bad. This is a bad situation. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I didn't even buy anything to heal myself with. Oh, man. This is bad. This is not a good situation. Let's go for another crunch. Can we get a flinch, please? Nope. No flinches. No flinches for me. Now, if I have Pommel attack this thing, can it do any sort of damage? Can it do any sort of damage, though? Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's go for Spark. Oh, wow, that actually did a pretty good amount. Uh, that was a crit. We got Paralysis! And it still used the move, and we're still going to get knocked out. Yep, Pomo is the most useless Pokemon. Can, it be, can, we get, can we go faster? Can we... I say, can we go faster? Can we go first? <laughs> can we go first before this thing, like, does anything? Because once Arvin helps, or once Arvin pulls up, this is going to be an easier fight. Don't tell me we gotta fight it more than twice. Do not tell me we have to fight it more than twice. Oh my god, we gotta find it again? We have to find it? What do you mean find it? It's right there! No way, bro. If only Arvin would heal up our Pokemon. Pomo's the only Pokemon that did anything, really. Okay. So that's where that's where the next um, fight's gonna take place. Let's let's go to the. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna run to the Pokemon Center and then come right back. <sighs> All right, we've now made it back. We've now arrived. I'm assuming that once we talk to this fish, it's gonna pop out of nowhere like immediately. Arvin, Arvin, we need help. How did we not get hit? Why am I smiling, bro? I would be terrified if I saw this. Why did the little fish go in there? Jamie, did you find the Titan? So that's it. Sure is one big, uh, dragon. Wait, is it even a dragon or is it a fish? It's a fish, my guy. It's not dragon type. Huh? The little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan. Yeesh, I didn't expect didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. Arvin, I'm gonna need to get carried, bro, because this thing is insane. This thing is nuts, bro. It's like a huge catfish. <sighs> okay. Um, let's just go for play rough, I guess. This food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal of this battle. Bro, I'm gonna need you to just, like, distract this thing. Okay, cool. Takedown. Alright, we're, we're making some, uh... I guess that's good progress for the first turn. How you miss play rough against that massive mon? Bro, if you miss play rough against that, dude, you're freaking blind. I can't believe it, bro. Can't believe it. <laughs> Order up. What does that do? Oh. Wow. D literally drop sushi on freaking Greedent. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to keep going for play rough. What else are we going to do? Bruh. And we miss... How do we miss twice? We missed twice! And this is the only Pokemon that Green... I mean, that, that Arvin brought. How you come to take on a Titan and you only bring one Pokemon? That don't even make sense. Okay, well, we pretty much got it most of the way down. In terms of health. Oh, 
Why does it shake like that when it gets hit? And we got crit. Bro, I swear, I'm going to lose my freaking mind by the end of this episode. This is just ridiculous. Pomo, please get a good hit in. Get a good, strong hit. Is that it? Oh my gosh, we got paralysis. We got it paralyzed twice, and I bet you it's, it's still going to attack. Yep, still going to attack. And we're still going to get knocked out. Oh, actually, I I'm surprised we didn't get knocked out there. I'm so really, really, really surprised. Pomo, I swear you could use tackle on my Pomo. And it would it would faint. Well, finally got that done. Took forever. Took freaking forever. For y'all it won't has it wasn't it wouldn't have been it that long, but for me, we did it. We did it, Jamie. Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up on the menu is that Herba Mystica. The last one. Hmm? Whoa, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. Ta-ta, Titan. What? Does that thing want to fight too? No way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way we do not one-shot this thing. Let's play rough. There's no freaking way. There is no way, bro. Come on. Wow. I mean, it almost half health. I see wind. Okay, that didn't do too much against us. Take down. How much is that going to do? You missed. Bro, how are we... Okay, I understand missing against this little fish. But I don't understand how we missed against the huge titan. That's crazy. We missed twice. Not once, but twice. 90% accurate move. But, whatever. That's going to hit pretty hard. Okay, well, we survived barely. I swear if we miss. Okay, cool. We did not miss. Play rough. Why would you use Tail Whip on me and not the Tats the Tatsugiri? That don't even make sense. Can't believe it. I literally cannot believe it. That's insane. The AI. Arvin's AI is freaking goaded, my guy. Taunt? Okay, that's fine. You can use taunt. If we don't knock this thing out... Why did I use spark? It's not a water type. Oh my gosh. <sighs> if it uses muddy water, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, no. Pomo is the regident... The residential disappointment. Um, I guess let's go with Mabo Stiff. Send in Mabo Stiff. Let's go for a crunch. Very fitting that I'm at the last Titan, the last Pokemon that's going to use a move to take out our enemy is a Mabo Stiff. And Arvin has a Mabo Stiff that is very sickly. But with this last Urban Mystica, hopefully Mabo Stiff will be healed. I hope so. I hope so. Because if not, we did this all for nothing. Also, if 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 Coridon does not gain the ability to climb stuff, I'm going to be very, very salty. Phew, nice job, Jamie. That's my hardworking little bud. Because that's the ability I wanted this whole time. This whole quest. This whole journey. Maybe the Titan was both of those Pokemon together. Like some kind of combo meal. That don't even make sense. The little one came out of here, which means there should be some Herba Mystica inside. Let's go, Jamie.
That must be it. The last Herba Mystica. What is it, spicy or something? It's red. The spicy Herba Mystica. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives your circulation a boost and circulation. A boost and helps flush out all those toxins along with a ton of sweat. You know what's next? It's chow time. Another good old sandwich coming up. Gear, haya, huacha. And here we go. Trusty Arvin's Chaka block full of cheer, final herb super sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? Sheesh, bro. This is this is not a good idea. If it's that spicy, ain't gonna go so well. I can't eat spice, bro. I I I can't take spice. I didn't grow up eating spice. Well, we know the drill. We're gonna give him our sandwich. Gyans? Come on, climbing. Climbing! Finally, bro. Crydon won't be able to climb vertical surfaces now. Guess this mob will still turn then. Just gotta get Mabo stiff back up on its feet. Come on, bud, eat up. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Jamie and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want, you know, just like we used to. Please get better. That's all I want, really. That's my treasure, right? Bro, is, is he gonna eat it? What's going on? Did my game just... Uh, why are we getting a, cu a cutscene? Mabo Stiff, you did your best, bud. Whoa. Wait, what's going on? Rough. Woof. Bud. I know, bud. Me too. Honestly, I thought <laughs> I thought Mobile Slip was gonna die. Like I was like, no way they're going this route. There's no way we did all this work. But I'm glad Mobile Slip is feeling better. <sighs> Hello, Jamie. This is Sada. What? Akia. It seems that Crydon has regained all of its powers except for the power to battle. It should be able to climb any climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs onto while you're riding on it. Press B to face a blah, blah, blah. Okay. Agia. I knew you were the right one to entrust to it, Jamie. Int uh, pa, listen to you. Like you had anything to do with it. That voice. Arvin, are you there? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you. Because, because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Jamie back to the lighthouse with you. To, th to the lab on Poco Path. I will reach out once more when you arrive there. 
Why, do, why, why does she need us to get into her lab? Woof. So, I guess you probably already know. With that, that's my mom. What? I had no idea. How was I? How was I going to know? Always bur buried under her work, off pursuing her own research, never at home with me. That's the first time I've heard her voice in years, you know. And now what? The first thing I get to be, I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy. She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Crydon probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling, but... Sure, I'm fine. Sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path at the lighthouse where we, you, and I, uh, you and me first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. Oh, woof. Well... I guess that's the last chapter of this path. Mom, where have you been all this time? This is crazy, bro. What if she's the boss of Team Star? <sighs> Anyways, if you did enjoy this episode, give this video a like. Comment down below, subscribe for more content. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. I have links in the description of every video, so you might as well go follow me. This might be a long one. Um, definitely struggled. This, I thought this was going to be really easy, and it was not. Um, I'm going to grind up off screen. going to try to get uh, Pomo to take all those steps uh, it needs to evolve Pomo into Palmot. Um, again, we have such a number of physical attackers on the team. I might, um, I might do a bit of reworking for the team between episodes i just realized also um i could just hold off on evolving things and then evolve them on camera like whenever something's gonna evolve i just hit i just hit cancel i guess so i guess i'll be doing that to grind up and save on time because i really need to get these videos out and this game has been out for two months um but yeah i think next we're gonna go maybe i don't know which one of these two we're gonna take on it's either the ghost type gym leader or the fairy type um crew um but yeah i don't know what's going on with arvin's mom we're gonna find out eventually after we complete the other two uh final quests which is the gym badge and the raid um on the team star crew but yeah till next time